hello friends welcome to my channel so today in this uh, quick video i'm going to show you an interesting wi-fi smart device which i uh, bought a couple of months back so this is uh, a smart humidity sensor it integrates well with the uh, tuya app let's have a look how it looks so here it is uh, this is the one i have it's uh, smart sensor so here through this place it senses it and uh, you have a ring light uh, over here and it is also a siren so the brand name is uh, opm or something like that let me check that but uh, you have ways to fit it it comes with the screws it's a bit uh, difficult to open it you need to twist it unlock it and there is a battery compartment there but the battery is not provided uh, with this uh, smart uh, device uh, let me show you more things about it so the mrp of this device is around 3000 but it comes to probably some 1600 the only, only disadvantage is it doesn't come with a battery and the uh, batteries are like those cr2 batteries uh, but Without the battery, the only problem is if there's a power failure, you just uh, lose the configuration. And uh, you can operate it uh, through the uh, Tuya app. So this is the Tuya app. And I have named this as Smart Sensor Siren. Okay, so it gives you the temperature as well as the humidity relative humidity and uh, if I press this the alarm gets triggered so I can show you how it sounds so I will just turn on the alarm now so, so you can see it's pretty loud you have various alarm modes which you can uh, configure through uh, settings so it also gives you the history of temperature a graph and uh, also history of humidity you can select the date range just scroll, scroll across see it gives you the entire graph how and uh, whenever i dehumidify it through my ac the relative humidity really comes down so it was around 70 to 15 minutes back and now on 27 degree when i turn it on on dehumidifier mode it works perfectly fine it is currently powered by usb as i said uh, because i don't have the batteries and uh, what else you can explore the app it's good you can select the alarm type by default you never come to know how it sounds so all i've set it for the type 8 alarm which is the typical warning alarm you hear in factories there are around uh, 18 alarm modes uh, which you can configure here um, you can set the alarm to high secondary and low and you can also configure uh, a threshold that a humidity alarm will be triggered uh, if it exceeds uh, these limits so it's a pretty useful device and for me it's very important because my tv led screen turns a bit greenish due to the high humidity since i stay close to the sea there are there are various other options unfortunately you cannot get the readings on alexa or uh, say the google smart speakers you can only tell alexa to turn on the alarm and it will get triggered but a pretty useful device uh, the packing is pretty neat it tells you how you need to uh, set the device so it's available on Amazon the prices are mostly constant and uh, from this same company you get various other smart products to which are advertised over here so you can go and purchase this if you really have concern uh, for high humidity in your area which is impacting your gadgets I uh, hope you like this video if you have any queries uh, concern or comments please uh, do le let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks and have a nice day.